Welcome to our next video. We talked about changes in aggregate demand. There is a shift to the right or a shift to the left if something happens and we need to take a closer look at those reasons. First, there is fiscal policy. If fiscal policy increases government expenditure, then the aggregate demand curve goes to the right. If it decreases government expenditure, of course, the aggregate demand curve would go to the left. So if you want to take a closer look at fiscal policy, at government expenditure, and they say now government wants to increase the spendings on, on like buying houses, we take, we have to increase the aggregate demand curve, we have to shift it to the right. That's one reason. Another reason is monetary policy. If central banks increase money supply, the aggregate demand curve goes to the right. If it decreases money supply, then the aggregate demand curve goes to the left. That's the second one. Then it depends, the aggregate demand curve depends on expectations. If the expected future income rises, then we have a shift to the right. If it decreases, then we have a shift to the left. And last but not least, we have, um, it is dependent on the exchange rate. If the exchange rate decreases or if foreign income increases, then we have a shift to the right. Otherwise, we have a shift to the left. Thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,